Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about quadratic regression and how to use the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator to find it. So we're gonna start off with a table of X and Y values and we see that on the left side of our screen right here. And we're gonna write the equation or basically we're gonna use our calculator to find the equation of the, basically it's the line of best fit if we think back to linear regression. Um, but this is gonna be our quadratic best fit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type these values into our calculator. It's gonna give us a value for A, B, and C, and we're gonna be able to write a equation in quadratic, a quadratic equation in standard form. And we're gonna be able to see what R squared is. So here in this case, R squared is called our coefficient of determination. We see that at the bottom of the screen here, and it's gonna show how well our equation fits our data. And just like linear regression, the closer that number is to one, the stronger the fit, or the better the fit. Okay, so we're gonna go to our calculator, we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna go into stat, okay? So once we go to stat, we're gonna hit edit, and we're now at our L1, L2 screen. So just make sure these are clear. If they're not clear, you can go up to L1, hit clear, and then enter. And then you can go to L2, clear, and enter, and that should take away any values that you have there. So for L1, we're gonna list our X values. So 23, enter, 34, 42, 47, 50, 61, and 72. I'm gonna go over to L2, that's gonna be my Y values. So I have 17.1, and 22. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit graph. And notice how we have a scatter plot now. Yours might not show up if your window is messed up or if your plot is not on. So one thing to check, go to Y equals, and make sure at the top of the screen you got plot one in black right there highlighted. If it's not, you can go up to it and hit enter, right? So now see how mine is, is not highlighted black, so I just turned it off. If you go back up there and hit enter, now you have turned it back on. Okay, so if we go into our window, I've got mine set at X min and Y min zero, X max 75 and Y max 35. So you can go ahead and change your window to that. And if you hit graph, it should now look like what is on my screen. So now to find the quadratic regression, we're gonna hit stat and we're gonna to go to calculate. And we want the fifth option down here. So we can go down to quadratic regression and hit enter or you can just hit five. So we hit enter. Now for X list, we want that to say L1 because that's where we typed our X values. Y list, we want that to say L2. And now we're just gonna go down to calculate and we're gonna hit enter and the calculator is going to calculate it for us. So now we can fill out some of our information. And so now we have our A value. Let's say we have negative zero point 015. For our B value, we have 1.55. C, let's round this to negative 10.9. And our coefficient of determination, let's round this to 0 0.98. Okay, so now we can write an equation here as y equals negative 0.015x squared plus 1.55x minus 10.9. Okay, and now this, we can graph in our calculator to actually see our quadratic function. So we go into y equals, and now in y1, I'm gonna type in negative 0 0.015 x squared plus 1.55 x minus 10.9. Now when we hit graph, we should see our parabola go right through as close as possible to those points. Okay, and so now we can use different features if we wanna find the maximum of that parabola, we can do that on our calculator as well. But that's how you can use the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator to find quadratic regression.